talking today about a situation involving a mom. Joining us are attorneys Greg Fellerman and editor and bully for the law. And you, as always, guys, my pleasure to see you today. Hey, is this a new suit? It's brand new. I just got it the other day. Can you imagine? We love it. All right. Well, uh, in addition to my suit, we have an important question to talk about today. We've got Bill in Pocono Mountain who wants to know this. Last year, my mom had a very serious stroke. She has made some improvements, but really can't handle her affairs. What do I have to do to handle her affairs for her? Is Bill referring to power of attorney here? Well, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Greg talk about the power of attorney, but I'll, I'll handle it for, you know, talk about it from the, from the other end of it, the more serious end of it. If your mom really is, is, is incompetent at this particular stage in her life after in the recovery of this stroke, uh, then what you can do is you can petition the court to become a guardian of your mom. And essentially what that means is that there's going to be a judicial determination that your mom is incompetent, incompetent to handle her medical affairs, incompetent to handle her financial affairs, and that you're going to be acting on her behalf. Power of attorney, as, as, as Dave mentioned, that's a little bit a, a different scenario, but it also may be appropriate depending on you know how what, what's going on with your mom. And I'll let Greg talk a little bit more about the specifics of that, that issue. Well, and again, the guardian would have to get some sort of powers over his mother, the mother's affairs. So sometimes the courts, when they're, your guardian would would allow that power of uh, the attorney, you know, power of attorney, yeah. to be executed on her behalf, so he can do that. And again, if you're, you gotta understand too. Sometimes it, it has to be determined what if, if your mom comes in and out of clarity. Sometimes she can make those decisions when she's clear. Then she can execute a power of attorney and give you that power without the judicial notice. But you gotta make sure. She knows what she's doing. She understands the ramifications of the decision she's making, the paper she's signing. So again, in the, your medical team that's working can help you with that clarity because they could be witnesses. But again, if, if it's as bad as you're saying, you're obviously gonna have to go to court, get it done, and then you'll probably be able to take care of all your mother's affairs and make sure her Ask your doctor. I mean, that's the part doc, of the, yeah, well, that's yeah, ask said, the, the doctor. Team. I mean, yeah. ask, the, ask the medical, you know, her, her doctor, you know what they think. I mean, is she, is she at this point is, is she, she competent? Is she competent? All right, some good advice for a very difficult situation. And our viewers who may find themselves in a similar spot and need some legal advice, how can they reach you? They call us at 570-714 Hertz. See us on the web at 714Hertz.com. And they can always call the hotline. Don't forget about the hotline. <laughs> or go to our Facebook page. If you have a question, put it on our page. We'll do our best to answer it on an upcoming segment. I heard Greg is singing at the next hotline party. I and could. Singing, I dancing. Could. I wouldn't be surprised. Guitar, he just may do that. You guys want. <laughs> Results matter. Attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Isaran. Bully, gentlemen, thanks. We'll see you again next time. You got it. PAHomepage.com are the hotline. Your best places to submit a question to the law and you.